In the world of classic film and television, the name James Craig is often associated with memorable roles and captivating performances. Born on January 8, 1912, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Craig's journey to stardom began when he was discovered by a talent scout while working as a bank clerk. Throughout his career, the actor appeared in numerous films and shows, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. In 1937, he made his film debut in The Last Gangster, which was followed by many other notable roles in films such as The Sisters, Dark Victory, and Test Pilot. Craig's talent was not limited to the big screen. He also made a name for himself on television, appearing in several popular shows, including Perry Mason, The Untouchables, and Gunsmoke. His portrayal of Detective Lieutenant Dan Matthews in The Asphalt Jungle is still remembered as one of his most iconic roles. Despite his success, Craig remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in the industry until his retirement in the late 1970s, leaving behind a legacy of classic films and shows that continue to resonate with audiences today. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his versatility and ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. His contributions to the industry have been cherished by fans and colleagues alike, and his work remains a testament to his enduring talent and impact. In the world of classic film and television, James Craig's name is etched in the annals of history as a true thespian who captivated audiences with his talent and charisma. His work continues to inspire and entertain, and his legacy lives on through the timeless films and shows he left behind. James Craig was a renowned actor who made a significant impact in the film industry. Among his many legendary works, which one do you believe defined his career? Was it his role in the company she keeps or mourning becomes Electra? What made James Craig stand out from his contemporaries in his era? His unique acting style and versatile range of roles certainly set him apart. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we delve into some funny, shocking, and sad facts about James Craig. You won't want to miss it. Born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1912, James Craig was exposed to the world of acting at a young age. His father, an accomplished violinist, often performed in silent films, igniting Craig's passion for the arts. The actor's mother, a former chorus girl, nurtured his creativity and encouraged his pursuit of a career in entertainment. As a child, Craig was enthralled by the silent films his father appeared in, often mimicking the actor's movements and expressions. He began performing in school plays and community theater productions, honing his craft and developing his unique style. Craig's early exposure to the arts extended beyond acting. He was also an accomplished musician, playing the saxophone and clarinet in school bands and orchestras. This musical background would later influence his approach to acting as he often drew upon his understanding of rhythm and timing to enhance his performances. Throughout his teenage years, Craig continued to perform in local theater productions, garnering attention from talent scouts and agents. He was eventually discovered by a talent agent who recognized his potential and helped him secure roles in small films and stage productions. One of Craig's earliest mentors was the renowned stage actor and director George Abbott. Under Abbott's guidance, Craig learned the intricacies of stagecraft and the importance of discipline and hard work. Abbott's influence would stay with Craig throughout his career, shaping his approach to acting and his dedication to his craft. As Craig's career began to take off, he continued to seek out mentors and collaborators who could help him grow as an artist. He worked with a diverse range of actors, directors, and writers, each of whom left a unique mark on his development as a performer. From his humble beginnings in Philadelphia to his rise as a leading man in Hollywood, James Craig's journey was shaped by a rich tapestry of family, upbringing, and early exposure to the arts. His passion for acting was ignited by those around him, and his dedication to his craft was nurtured by a series of influential mentors and collaborators. James Craig, born James Henry Meter Jr. on January 3, 1912, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was the second of three children. His father, James Henry Meter Sr., was a traveling salesman, and his mother, Elizabeth, was a homemaker. Craig's family moved frequently during his childhood, and he spent his formative years in several cities, including Atlanta, Georgia, and Dallas, Texas. Craig's interest in acting began in high school, where he participated in several school plays. After graduating, he attended the University of Texas at Austin, where he studied drama. However, he left college before completing his degree to pursue a career in acting. 
Craig's early acting career was marked by several small roles in films and on stage. In 1937, he made his film debut in The Last Train from Madrid. Over the next few years, he appeared in several low-budget films, often playing supporting roles. In 1942, Craig's career took a turn for the better when he was cast as the lead in The Son of Monte Cristo. The film was a hit, and Craig's performance was well-received. He went on to appear in several more successful films, including Dragonwick and The Fountainhead. Craig's career was interrupted by his service in World War II. He enlisted in the United States Army Air Forces and served as a bombardier in the European theater. After the war, he returned to acting and continued to appear in films and on television. Throughout his career, Craig was known for his rugged good looks and his strong, silent screen presence. He often played heroes in westerns and action films, and his performances were marked by a quiet intensity. Craig's personal life was marked by several marriages and divorces. He was married five times and had four children. Despite his personal struggles, he remained a popular actor throughout his career, and his films continue to be enjoyed by audiences today. In conclusion, James Craig's early life and background were marked by frequent moves and a love of acting that began in high school. His career was interrupted by World War II, but he returned to acting and became known for his rugged good looks and strong screen presence. Despite his personal struggles, he remained a popular actor and left a lasting legacy in the world of classic films. As a young boy, James Craig found solace in the world of cinema. He would spend hours watching classic films, captivated by the stories and the actors who brought them to life. One day, while watching a swashbuckling adventure, he picked up a broom handle and began to fence along with the characters on the screen. It was in this moment that he discovered his passion for acting. Craig's parents, noticing his enthusiasm, enrolled him in a local theater group. He thrived in this environment, and his natural talent was quickly recognized by his instructors. He began to land small roles in community productions, and his love for acting only grew stronger. During his high school years, Craig was cast in the lead role of a major school production. The experience was transformative for him, and he knew then that he wanted to pursue a career in acting. After graduation, he moved to New York City to study at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Craig's dedication and talent paid off, and he soon began to land roles in Broadway productions. His big break came when he was cast in a leading role in a major Hollywood film. From there, his career took off, and he became a well-known and respected actor in the industry. To this day, Craig remains grateful for that fateful day when he picked up a broom handle and discovered his passion for acting. He continues to inspire and captivate audiences with his powerful performances, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. After finding success in the film industry, the actor James Craig became a father for the fourth time at the age of 44, when his first wife Mary gave birth to their son, Michael Craig Meterdor, on June 18, 1956. Throughout his career, the actor made an impact in several films, leaving a mark that would resonate with audiences and critics alike. His work even caught the attention of acclaimed author Gore Vidal, who name-dropped him several times in the novel Myra Breckenridge as the eponymous hero's favorite and most romantically desirable movie star. Despite his accomplishments, the actor's life was not without its challenges. Sadly, he passed away after a battle with lung cancer at Western Medical Center in Santa Ana, California. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to be cherished by fans of this classic era. James Craig, a talented actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born on January 3, 1912, he struggled financially, often finding it difficult to make ends meet. Despite his passion for acting, he was met with skepticism by industry professionals who questioned his ability to succeed. However, Craig remained resilient and determined to make a name for himself. He found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles, such as taking on odd jobs to support himself while pursuing his dream. He also sought out mentors and took acting classes to hone his craft and build his skills. Despite the naysayers, Craig's talent and dedication shone through. He landed his first major role in a classic film where he proved himself to be a skilled and captivating performer. From there, he went on to appear in numerous other films and shows, solidifying his place in Hollywood. Today, James Craig is remembered as a classic actor who overcame early financial struggles and industry skepticism to achieve great success. His resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and anyone facing challenges in their pursuit of their dreams. At the age of 27, 
the actor James Craig became a father for the first time when his first wife, Mary, gave birth to their son, James Craig Mater, eight years later in 1945. Their second son, Robert Craig Mater, was born. In addition to his role as a father, James Craig was also known for his work in film and television. One of his notable roles was as the Caliph in the 1944 film Kismet. The New York Times movie review from August 23rd of that year had this to say about his performance, James Craig is a personable Caliph and perfectly acceptable in that role with the minor exception of his rich Southern accent, which, indeed, prompted one spectator to refer to him as Caliph of Baghdad on the Swanee. Despite the slight misstep with his accent, Craig's performance in Kismet was well received and added to his reputation as a talented actor. In 1936, James Craig's career reached a turning point when he signed a contract with MGM, one of Hollywood's most influential studios. This opportunity provided him with the chance to work alongside esteemed actors and directors, significantly impacting his career. During his time at MGM, the actor was cast in The Last of Mistress Cheney, a classic film noir that gained critical acclaim for its intricate plot and captivating performances. Craig's portrayal of a charming yet cunning thief earned him recognition and praise from both peers and critics alike. Notably, renowned film critic Pauline Kael commended Craig's performance, stating, James Craig's portrayal of the sly and charismatic thief is a testament to his versatility and talent as an actor. Following the success of The Last of Mistress Cheney, Craig continued to make his mark in Hollywood with a series of classic films, including Gaslight and The Company She Keeps. These roles further solidified his status as a respected and accomplished actor. In Gaslight, Craig starred alongside Hollywood legends Ingrid Bergman and Charles Boyer in this suspenseful drama. His portrayal of a menacing and manipulative husband left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Bergman herself praised Craig's performance, stating, James Craig's ability to convey both charm and menace in a single role is truly remarkable. He is a consummate professional and a pleasure to work with. Throughout his career, James Craig's contributions to the world of film have left an indelible mark on both audiences and industry professionals. His ability to embody a wide range of characters with depth and nuance has earned him a place among Hollywood's most cherished and enduring actors. James Craig, a well-known actor, struggled with substance abuse and addiction throughout his life. His battle with addiction began when he was young, and it continued to affect him throughout his career. Despite his struggles, Craig remained dedicated to his craft and became known for his work in classic films and television shows. Craig's addiction began with alcohol, which he started using at a young age. As his career took off, he turned to other substances, including cocaine and prescription drugs. His addiction caused him to experience personal and professional setbacks, including lost roles and relationships. Despite these challenges, Craig continued to work in the industry and became known for his roles in classic films such as Law of the Lawless and The Iron Mistress. He also appeared in popular television shows such as Perry Mason and Gunsmoke. Craig's addiction was not his only struggle in life. He also dealt with personal issues, including the loss of loved ones and financial difficulties. However, he remained determined to overcome these challenges and continued to work in the industry until his retirement. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in Craig's work, with many of his films and shows being rediscovered by a new generation of fans. Despite his struggles with addiction, Craig's legacy as an actor remains intact, and his work continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Through it all, Craig's story serves as a reminder of the devastating impact that addiction can have on an individual's life. It also highlights the importance of seeking help and support for substance abuse and addiction and the resilience and determination that is necessary to overcome these challenges. James Craig, a seasoned actor, is known for his unique approach to his work. He values artistic vision above all, believing that each project should have a clear and distinct identity. Craig begins by immersing himself in the script, studying every line and action to understand the character's motivations and desires. Once he has a solid grasp of the character, Craig moves on to researching the historical and cultural context of the piece. This allows him to add depth and nuance to his performance, making it more authentic and engaging for the audience. Craig's worldview and personal experiences are also reflected in his work. Having grown up in a diverse and dynamic community, he has a deep appreciation for the complexities and nuances of human relationships. 
This is evident in his portrayal of complex and multi-dimensional characters who are both relatable and compelling. One of the unique aspects of Craig's approach is his willingness to take risks and push boundaries. He is not afraid to experiment with new techniques or challenge himself in unexpected ways. This has resulted in some truly memorable and iconic performances, which have left a lasting impact on the world of film and television. In conclusion, James Craig's artistic vision and process are characterized by his deep commitment to authenticity, his willingness to take risks, and his ability to bring complex and multidimensional characters to life. Through his work, he has made a significant and enduring contribution to the world of entertainment. In 1947, the actor James Craig became a father for the third time, as his first wife, Mary, gave birth to their daughter, Diane Ray Craig Meador. However, the joy of this new addition to the family was soon overshadowed by tragedy when their son, Robert, passed away the following year at the young age of three. After leaving acting in 1980, James Craig embarked on a new career as a successful real estate salesman. His transition from the world of film and television to the competitive field of real estate demonstrated his versatility and adaptability, further solidifying his place as a respected figure in the industry. Despite retiring from acting, his contributions to the entertainment world continued to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impact that transcended his time on screen. James Craig, an actor who left an indelible mark on Hollywood, was born in 1912 and began his career in the 1930s. His work spanned over four decades, during which he contributed significantly to the industry. Craig's impact can be seen in his ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance, according to film historian Richard Barrios. Craig brought a certain gravitas to his roles, making even the most ordinary character seem larger than life. His performances in films like The Company She Keeps and Inherit the Wind showcased his versatility as an actor. He could play both leading men and supporting roles with equal ease, often stealing scenes from more famous counterparts. Moreover, Craig was instrumental in shaping the trend of method acting. He believed in immersing himself fully into his characters, often going beyond the script to understand their motivations and emotions. This technique influenced many young actors of his time and continues to do so today. Director Stanley Kramer once noted, James Craig brought a level of professionalism and dedication to every role he played. His influence on the craft of acting is immeasurable. Craig's impact also extends to storytelling. His films often dealt with serious social issues, such as prejudice and corruption, making them thought-provoking and relevant even today. His work served as a reflection of the society of his time, providing a commentary on the human condition. In addition, Craig's contribution to television should not be overlooked. He starred in several popular TV shows during the 1950s and 1960s, helping to establish the medium as a viable platform for quality drama. Actress Jane Wyatt, who co-starred with Craig in the series Lights Out, recalled, working with James was always a pleasure. He had a commanding presence that filled the screen and stage. He was a true professional. In conclusion, James Craig's contribution to the film and television industry is undeniable. His influence on acting techniques, storytelling, and industry trends continues to resonate, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. James Craig's career as an actor was marked by a tragic turn of events. In 1954, while performing in a play called The Long Days, he suffered a near-fatal fall on stage, which left him with a serious head injury and partially paralyzed. This accident effectively ended his acting career, and he spent the rest of his life in relative obscurity. Prior to the accident, Craig had enjoyed a successful career in both film and television. He began his acting journey in the 1930s and quickly became a familiar face in Hollywood. Over the years, he appeared in numerous films, including The Song of Bernadette, The Fighting Sullivans, and The Fountainhead. He also had a successful run on television, starring in shows like The Lone Ranger and Annie Oakley. Despite his accomplishments, Craig's personal life was marked by tragedy as well. He was married four times and had several children, but his relationships were often tumultuous. In 1956, just two years after his devastating accident, his third wife, actress Susan Walters, died of a drug overdose. Die. Craig was devastated by her death and never fully recovered. Today, James Craig is often remembered as a talented actor whose career was cut short by a tragic accident. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences and his legacy lives on through his classic performances. Although his life was marked by both triumph and tragedy, 
His enduring spirit remains an inspiration to many. James Craig, a well-known actor, values his privacy and keeps his personal life low-key. However, he has been open about his love for nature and the outdoors. Growing up, he spent a lot of time exploring the woods and fields around his home, which sparked his appreciation for the environment. This love for nature has influenced his work as an actor, as he has taken on roles in several outdoor-themed films and shows. In addition to his acting career, Craig is passionate about giving back to his community and the environment. He is involved in several philanthropic efforts, including conservation organizations and wildlife rehabilitation centers. Craig has also been an advocate for environmental education, using his platform to raise awareness about the importance of preserving and protecting our natural resources. One of the causes closest to Craig's heart is the restoration of a local park in his hometown. He has worked tirelessly to raise funds and awareness for the project, which aims to create a safe and accessible green space for the community to enjoy. Through his efforts, the park has undergone significant renovations, including the addition of new playgrounds, walking trails, and picnic areas. Craig's personal values and interests have not only shaped his acting career, but have also inspired him to make a positive impact on the world around him. His dedication to conservation and environmental education serves as an example to others, encouraging them to appreciate and protect the natural world. As you reflect on the career of James Craig, the actor, you may have fond memories of his work in classic films and television shows. His charismatic performances have left an impression on many viewers, and his legacy continues to resonate today. The actor's career spanned several decades, and he appeared in a variety of genres, showcasing his versatility and talent. From his early roles in westerns to his later work in dramas and comedies, he brought a unique energy to each project. One of James Craig's most memorable roles was in the film The Company She Keeps, where he starred alongside Elizabeth Scott. The film is a classic example of film noir, and the actor's portrayal of a charming but dangerous criminal is captivating. In addition to his work in film, James Craig also made a significant impact on television. He appeared in several popular shows of the time, including Perry Mason and The Untouchables. His ability to adapt to different mediums and genres is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. As you think about James Craig's legacy, consider sharing your thoughts and memories in the comments. What are some of your favorite roles or performances of his? How has his work impacted you or the world of entertainment? If you enjoyed this exploration of James Craig's career, be sure to like and share this content with others who may also appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.